Hello dear, it's me, Potato Me. And I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded a video or even done a stream, but I've honestly just been really busy, okay? School stuff, it's a bit really stressful. And hey, look, I got a new setup, but you've already saw that in the Muppets video. Cause I guess what? I'm re-recording this video again. Anyways, but yeah, this is a Spider-Man showcase, AKA the Tatoverse Spider-Man showcase, as in like my own designs, kind of like the original video. But yeah, uh, let's get into it. So, since it's the, like, the third or fourth time I'm re-recording this, like, the reason why is mainly because I'm just not really all that happy with the other ones, and I just, I feel as if I didn't get all my thoughts out. But, yeah, here's Spidey. By the way, he's not this glossy. It's, like, I used a matte finish is what he actually looks like, like, in person. It's just, I have, like, two little lamps that make it look extremely shiny. Excuse me. But, yeah. I really do like this figure. It's a remake of the original, if you know what that looks like. I'll probably put up a, like, a, like a picture right here. But yeah. I think it looks really cool. Especially since like I actually connected the red on the arms. And, you know, because that just looked a little weird. And I also got rid of like a lot of the white on the original version. And actually, if you know my Instagram, Potato Me Customs, you'd know that um, I got rid of that. Like, I got rid of that weird texture. Like, the weird, like, pavement texture i tried to put on here just to give it like a little bit more oomph, you know like make it a little, little make it look a little bit better try to give it more detail i guess but i decided to just go like something, something simple like this but yeah this is spidey so far uh, i did actually have two masks this is the second one it's the mcu spider-man mask from nate to minifix that's actually engraved with like the webbings and this is the other like the comic engraved webbings that nate to minifix did this mask actually came with the engraved webbing one like the comic one so, I only really have one of these, sadly. But I, I would really get multiples of these. He actually started to sell them separately. But yeah. Um, the, you know, there's some side detail. Really cool. I kept a lot of the elements from the original. Just changed up some of it. Which I think it definitely turned out a lot better on this figure. Like, the webbing and all that. The side. Like, the thigh, the thigh webbing or whatever it is. I should probably extend that onto the hips, huh? But, yeah. I think it's a really cool figure. I'll just show you what the alt head is, aka... Actually, you know what? No. There's no point in showing the alt head, because it's literally just Peter Parker. Like, it's just a Marty McFly head that I just gave him this hairpiece. Yeah. This is just the Peter Parker for now. I don't know if I'll make, like, an actual figure, like, an actual torso and all that. But next up, we have the main man, Green Goblin. Here he is. I think he turned out really cool looking. I think he looks great. He's got, like, a little pumpkin for the pumpkin bomb. Let's get rid of that. But I think he looks really cool. Nate's minifigs mask. I just sculpted a hat on. Made a, like... I don't really care what people might say. Like, it might be a long Widow's Peak, like, kind of, like, hat. But I just like the way it looks, okay? I don't know. Makes him look a little bit more sinister. <laughs> Anyways. But he has, like, a metallic green on, you know, like, the thighs, the helmet, and the arms, and all that metallic purple as well that looks really nice and i think it turned out a hell of a lot better than my original design i'm just gonna remove every bit of cloth and the armor piece just so you can see what the torso underneath looks like here he is very simple sculpted chest a little bit of a sculpted back and shoulder armor pieces that are actually used as elbow pads from nate's minifigs because there are a lot of nate's minifigs parts in this whole like showcase because it i just had spare parts lying around but yeah here's the face as well and I'm just going to put him on the glider, just to kind of show you what it looks like. Boom, he has a little glider made from a Hero Factory piece that I just chopped off. Like a lot of Lego pieces that I even glued this part in so we can actually stick to studs. Which I think is really cool. Moving on, we're going to do Vulture. This is my, sin I'm doing the Sinister Six by the way, so like Green Goblin, Vulture, and you'll see afterwards. But here's Vulture. I think it looks really nice with these wings. Really cool. Painted up some Sam... Uh, Captain America wings, Sam, Captain America, Ma Falcon America, Captain Falcon. Yeah, he's got neon colors, actually. A lot of these figures have neon colors. Because I just had these neon colors lying around, like this. That. Even the face. Even around here on his arms. Yeah. Like I said, a lot of Nate's minifix pieces. Like the things, like the sides on his feet, like these little things. On the sides of feet, yeah, on the sides of feet. Gauntlets. Also from Nature Mini Figs are like Night Owl gauntlets from like an original Boca Tan set that I got that he updated later. So there's basically no point in it. But yeah. I didn't really decide to go like too terribly armored up on this one. 
Mainly because, like, I think people like Vulture can probably just escape easily because he just flies. But at the same time, like, you know, he doesn't, I don't think he necessarily needs all this armor if he's able to just, like, fly away so easily. Also, here's just the head. Yeah, it's just Palpatine head. I think it fits well. But yeah. Nothing much else to say. He also does have talents that I actually used, like, some feet from General Griefus. Yeah. I'm just trying to make this go quick just so it's not, like, too terribly of a long video because either way, it's God, probably gonna be a long video. Hold on. Sorry about that. My brother was calling me. Here's Electro, another member of the Sinister Six. Yeah, but I think this is like the third figure I finished in terms of like starting up this like this project again because like I kind of took a break for a little bit. But I do I do plan on continuing this afterwards because there are a couple whips. But I just really want to take a break for now because I, bro, I spent so long on these figures. This is like a whole, this is a whole thing. Anyways, but this helmet is just from, like, a bootleg Electro that I painted the back to be black. He's got a head from Junkrat. I think that looks really nice. I got inspiration from, like, someone on Instagram. I don't know. I don't remember who it is. But the torso is just kind of like a black jumpsuit. And with, like, a little thing at the back to help, like, I guess, power him up. Give him, like, I don't know, boost his power or something like that. I don't know. He also does have these pieces, like, these little electric, like, yellow pieces. That I think also came from a bootleg Electro, I think. I don't remember. But, yeah. I think it looks really nice. He does have some shoulder pads from Nate's Minifigs. Again, I think it looks nice. It's probably different. This is definitely one of my favorites. I will say that. I just love, like, the green accents along with, like, the yellow. I think it looks, I think it looks really nice. Yeah, he also has neon colors. Uh, let me show you. Boom. Look at that. It's supposed to be neon yellow, but it kind of looks a little greenish. So, yeah. But, eh, that does not matter to me. I, I just, I still like it. But, yeah, definitely one of my favorites. Again, like I said, trying to get through this quickly. Uh, I do have Mysterio. He's just slightly updated. Different helmet. It's just the MCU one with, like, these little pieces. So, yeah. Moving on to another member. Of the He's also a part of Sinister Six, by the way. So, like, it's Green Goblin, Electro, um, Mysterio, Vulture, o Otto, Octavius, and then Rhino. Which, speaking of Otto, here he is. These arms are from a bootleg, which I just took two of those sets and I just combined them all. I got four of them, by the way. Because they like this is 12 on each arm, by the way. So like, you have to get two of these because there's only like six per pack or something like that. Six per arm in the original pack. So I had to get two. I did paint these parts to actually be... He's going to fall. He's going to fall no matter what. Never mind. I did give like some neon colors. It's like a neon red, but it doesn't really... It's not like a vibrant because I... I try to paint something in the middle to make it look a little bit different. But, ooh, I hit the camera by accident. Sorry. But let me remove these so you can actually see. Oh, those just came off really easily. I, I threw the head. Damn it. I did use a tech head because I thought it was really fitting for her auto, which also inspiration from someone on Instagram. He is heavily inspired, like, just heavy. Like, heavy inspiration from the uh, most recent, like, Lego Doc Ock, like, Doc Ock figure. Like, the modern version that you see now. But, yeah, I did change up a lot of things, like the arms and the legs. And just, like, a lot of stuff on the torso. I still like the way this figure turned out. I did look really nice. Again, side detail and all that. Also, if you're wondering, like, why this part is, like, glossy, it's mainly just because I'm trying to, like, prevent scratching. Because that, that can be a little bit difficult whenever it comes to, like, minifigures. Because that, 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 that can just get very mean. Yeah. And here is the big boy himself. Oh! Oh, hey, look, you see the helmet. Here he is. He is a big boy, and he's actually probably one of the heaviest big figs I've ever made. This is just a armored up big boy. Like, look at him. He do got like a jumpsuit below it. You can see like a little bit of the black, like the black below it, like on the legs. Yeah. But most of him is just like metallic silver and all that. He also does have neon colors, just like everybody else. Boom. Also, it's kind of funny. Out of my Sinister Six, he's the only character who does not have green on him whatsoever. I kind of thought that was funny. I did use a Thanos big fig as a base, so you can rotate the head. And also, he does have a magnetic jaw piece, like a mouth guard. So now, boom, you can remove the mouth guard. Boom. Because, like, he's going to be ramming into a whole bunch of things. So, like, you know, he's probably going to have to need a mouth guard of some sort, you know. But, yeah. I really do like, like the way this figure turned out. I did fill in this part of the arms. Just so, you know, it doesn't look weird. Because, I, I don't know, I always kind of found that weird about, like, a, like big figs. 
but eh, it's probably just like prevent something i don't really know what yeah but a lot of detail went those dudes like a lot of sculpting detail oh boy definitely one of my favorites i will say that really cool figure there's not much else to talk about i will say i this mainly is like inspired from the ps4 game because like it's armor like i really want him to have armor not like just a jumpsuit or something like that or from what i looked up and what i remember it apparently it's like his skin make it like his skin as hard as a, as a rhino i don't know if that's like a suit he's wearing or if that's just his skin i don't remember you can tell me in the comments because i already know someone is oh yeah i forgot to mention did i hold on oh uh, no no never mind okay cool i thought i forgot to show off like a couple old heads but no it's not really oh yeah mysterio he does actually have a new head i forgot about that I, he just had like a gray head in the original because it was just like a translucent piece boom here is the scorpion. I forgot to add the blocks pack. Whoops. Here he is. I really do like the way this looks. It is, again, heavily inspired by the PS4 game. Because those are probably just the best, like, modern depictions of these villains and all that. Because, like, you, it, it's kind of goofy if you see, like, a dude. Like, a big dude just running around in a rhinoceros outfit. Like, that's kind of goofy. But, yeah. Here is the scorpion. I think he looks nice. He uses, like, those Doc Ock arms with, like, a pinch like a little tail at the end i like the way that turned out a lot of metallic green because again just a lot of metallic green i'll try not to use as like like much metallic colors like paints on the next figures because majority of them are most likely just going to be using like matte paints and most likely going to be sealed over in a matte or glossy spray which yeah it's not going to be much metallic on them maybe like here and there but like not much but yeah i did sculpt a little bit onto the arms like onto the wrists it's not really all that noticeable but hey and a lot of this black is kind of meant to be like a metallic black, but it just kind of blends in with the matte black, sadly. But let me take off this whole, like, body piece. Here he is. Look at that. Just green below it. I used the un I used the, my unfinished wrecker as, like, the head because I thought it was fitting. I don't know. I like the way it looks. He also does have pincers. Kind of like how he does in Spider-Verse, but, like, in Spider-Verse, he only had one. It's kind of weird. I don't think I've ever seen a scorpion uh, depiction with pincers. Like, in terms of, like, comics or anything. Like, I've never seen a depiction of that. You can tell me if there ever is one, because I, I don't really know. He does actually have, like, these tiny little toe details. It's just more armor pieces from Knights Minifix. They're meant to be, like, knee pads for, like, Mandalorian character. But I think it's Boba uh, or, or No, it's probably Boba. <laughs> yeah, that probably is. All right, final figure of this showcase, and then I'll show some whips. We got Shocker. Yeah, this is a figure I wasn't really too proud of originally, whenever it came to the original version. But I like the way it looks now. I did take inspiration from another person on Instagram, who, you know, with the helmet. It's just a like a Hero Factory helmet, but I don't know who it is specifically. And neither do I remember the dude who I got inspiration from. But I do use a Halo Chief, a Halo Chief, a Master Chief armor set from Nate's minifigs because i just got an extra one of those because he accidentally sent me one so yeah that's it's like one of the older versions it's not like the newer version but yeah he does also have knee pads just like the boba one like the boba knee pads and i just i just gave him like normal legs like normal pants because i just thought it was nice but he's got like little pockets on the side you can see like some of the jumpsuit below it i don't know what type of pants these would be i don't know why they would be tearing down the middle but who knows who cares it's fun either way but yeah, he's got, like, silver boots, silver shoes. He's got, like, the gauntlets on the side. He definitely has neon colors. Oh, yeah, the scorpion, he had neon colors. I forgot. Both are just orange. Like, the visor, for example. Th this was heavy whenever it came to neon. Look, neon orange. Woo, so cool. Woo. 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 I used a pineapple piece as a base head, by the way. Just a pineapple head. You can see there. Yeah, I, I thought it was funny. But anyways, time to show the alt head because he is a figure who has an alt head. Bada bing, bada boom, there we go. Just a normal little head. Pretty basic. That is it for actual figures. Whips, on the other hand, I have stuff like Miles Morales. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to do like a gray webbing, Miles Morales. I just prefer gray webbing, okay? I don't know, the red, the red looks cool. I just like the gray easier to paint and i just like it better but yeah this is not the this is not like the final version 
also, I just wanted to say this at the end. Uh, Venom, I forgot to mention this. He does have, like, a little bit of... He just got, like, a new head from Nate's minifigs. Yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> it's just another one. Got the symbiote suit. I don't know what I'm going to do for that. I'll figure something out. I do have a Spider Carnage suit. Just kind of like my own design. It's my own little suit. Going to be making a future foundation. Don't know if it'll just be comic based or if it'll just be like Tatoverse, but we'll see. This will probably be a Tatoverse 2099 Spider Man, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Going to be doing Craven the Hunter. He's going to be a thing at some point. Uh, I'm going to do Mr. Negative, but I want to give him like a like a mask, kind of like how he has in um. Like, kind of like how the people have in, like, the game. It's also going to be, like, a beetle. The beetle. I don't know if that's, like, a Spider-Man villain, but... I don't know. He came in a Spider-Man set once. And then the final figure, Black Cat. I don't know if this is going to be the official head that I use. But we'll see. Probably going to, like, paint my own or something like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to see how this turns out. But that is it. Uh, I'm sorry that I have not really been uploading videos. Again, like I said, just kind of been busy with school and all that. And I'm not really going to be working on, like, Spider-Man stuff right now. Because I'm probably going to do, like, concepts before I do anything. Just, like, so I can get, an, like, a rough idea. But right now, I'm just kind of working on other things. Also, if you really want me to, like, this is just kind of, like, in the future. If you really want me to do, like, other Tatoverse stuff, like, my own design for other things, just ask me. Because I already got, like, a Black Panther mask that I can use for, like, a Black Panther. But, yeah. I can do, like, Iron Man and all them. But, yeah. I do have, like, a couple other whips. Like, they're just fantasy stuff. Like, my own little fantasy group. Let me get them. I just kind of did these as, like, some fun. Because as much as I like the Crusaders, I just, I don't know. They're not really unique enough in terms of, like being their own like little fantasy group because it's all just knights i want like a little bit of diversity this is probably going to be like an elf at some point i'll just like sculpt ears so yeah it's just going to be like the elf archer gonna make an orc yeah gonna paint a head at some point got a little warlock that was cool yeah that, this one's actually finished she's done completely then i got a dwarf he gonna be done at some point this is just a stand-in head I was just testing the waters for, like, the head. Armor's definitely going to be finished at some point. And you already know how I am. I'm the narcissist of the group. Because I, guess what, I'm putting myself in there. But I'm not going to show you it yet. Actually, no, no. I will show it. But not the complete thing. This is just, like, a purist thing. Like, just a little bit of a concept. I'm going to paint, like, a whole torso and all that, like, a thing. And he's going to have, like, emblems on it. Uh, he does have a new shield. It's like the... It's like a little red dragon shield. I like the way this looks. It's like a glossy too. So it's like all metallic looking. It looks fantastic in my opinion. I sculpted that dragon by the way. As you can see here. Like right turn it sideways. Boom. But yeah. That is officially it for Tato vs. Spider-Man for now. I will make more in the future. Just not right now. Just gonna work on fantasy stuff. And you know. Enjoy my life. Because well. You know it's been difficult. Just working on school stuff and all that. But yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry. Uh, that's basically it. Goodbye. Is that a... What the hell?